Hi everyone, this is Sultan with Developing Funnels and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can send your buyer's data from your sales funnel to Fluent CRM. So let's begin. Now, Fluent CRM is a prominent CRM plugin in WordPress where you can manage leads, set up uh, email campaigns, set automation campaigns uh, with email sequences and many more. And WP Funnels has a direct integration with Fluent CRM so that you can send buyer's data based on their actions in a funnel to Fluent CRM and assign them specific tags and lists. All right, and in this video, I'm just gonna show you how easy it is to create those user events and you know assign specific tags and lists. And trust me, you're gonna love the UI. So let's begin. As you can see, uh, I'm on the dashboard and I have Fluent CRM and WP Funnels installed and activated, okay? So now, uh, I've already created a funnel in WP Funnels. Let me just show it to you. Let me just edit this. So this is basically a four-step funnel where I have a landing page with an opt-in form, a checkout page, an upsell offer, and a thank you page. Now let's say what I want is that when someone uh, goes to the landing page, if he submits the opt-in form, then his data will be added to Fluent CRM. And again, in, within this funnel, I want that if someone rejects the upsell offer, he'll be added to a different list with a different tag. All right, so based on that, then I can later on run automation email campaigns or email sequences for them, okay? Now I'm gonna show you exactly how easily you can do that. So since in the landing page, let me just preview this. And you can see this is our opt-in form here where someone can, you know, claim a trivia book, all right? So what I want is that when someone submits their name and email here, that's gonna be directly added to Fluent CRM. So for this, what I'll need is I'm gonna need to create a separate list uh, to collect these leads and then assign them specific tags, all right? At the same time, if I look at my upsell offer, let me preview this. So I have the option to accept or reject this. So what I want is if someone rejects this offer, he'll be added to another list and, and another tag, okay? So to do this, first, what you need to do is you need to create this list and tags in Fluent CRM. So I've already created them. Let me show it to you. Let me go to the contacts for Fluent CRM. There you go. And here under contacts, if I go to lists, you can see I have two lists. One is the lead gen, another is upsell. So this is the one I'm gonna use for uh, the opt-in form and the upsell one is the one I'm gonna use to collect data for the ones who go to the upsell offer. And I also have tags created. Uh, one is to, for the opt-in, one is offer no and offer yes. So I'm probably gonna use the offer no uh, so that when someone rejects the upsell offer, this is the tag he'll be assigned. So now that I have the list and the tags created in Fluent CRM, I have to set up the uh, user events in WP Funnels. So let me go back to the canvas, okay? And here, if you see on the top, there's this option that says integrations. Click on this and it will open up this window, okay? So once you have this, uh, since I have Fluent CRM installed and activated, uh, I'll get this in this list, okay? For all other automation tools uh, that we support, you need to use our integrations add-on. But for Fluent CRM, we have a direct integration, so you'll find this in this list. So if I choose Fluent CRM, now you can see there's this beautiful UI that allows you to define the user events based on which you can assign them lists and tags. So here, if I click on this, this is gonna give me a list of all the user events that are being performed in this particular funnel. So for example, in the funnel, if I had only two steps, the landing and the checkout, then in that case, I would only get the user events such as the CTA triggered and the after opt-in form submit. The rest of them wouldn't be there. But uh, in this case, I have uh, the landing page with an opt-in, I have the checkout page, and I have one upsell offer. If I had two upsell offers, then there would be another couple of uh, user events called upsell accepted or upsell rejected. So based on these user events, uh, when the user performs this in the funnel, their data will be added to the CRM, okay? So here, uh, what I want is that when someone submits the form, he'll be added to a specific list and tag. So let me just choose after opt-in form submit. Now, in this side, the list and tag, they'll be pre-populated uh, with the list and tags you have in Fluent CRM. So if I click on this, you can see I have the lead gen and upsell list listed over here. So those are the two I created in Fluent CRM as lists. So for, for opt-in, I want to take them to the list lead gen, and I want to assign them the tag opt-in. You see, these are the tags I had created in Fluent CRM, so I'm choosing opt-in. Now, I want to create another user event where if someone rejects the upsell offer, it will be added to a specific list. So let me choose upsell rejected, and I'll be adding him to the upsell list, okay? 
and I'm going to choose the tag offer no. All right. So what this user event means is that when these events are triggered, uh, the buyer's data will be directly added to Fluent CRM. Uh, they'll be added to the list mentioned here and they'll be assigned a tag that is mentioned here. Okay. And then in Fluent CRM, based on uh, these tags added, you can actually run uh, automation email sequences or email campaigns later on. Okay. So let me just save this. All right. And if I cross this out, you can see here is a list of all the integrations that I've created. Okay. So if I want to send my data to multiple tools, then here I can create multiple integrations and send them uh, individual data based on their user actions. All right. So yeah, you have the full freedom in this case. Let me just go back to the canvas. Uh, now I have the funnel ready. I have the integration user events ready now to show you how this one works. Okay. So let me just preview the landing page. And this is the landing page. So rather than testing as an admin, let me just open this page in incognito. Okay. So what I did was I copied the URL and I'm opening this in incognito. All right. So here in the opt-in form, let me just submit my data. So let's say I'm using my name and I'll use this one. Right, so before I submit this, let me just minimize this and show you that I actually have no contacts in Fluent CRM. So if I click on all contacts, you can see I haven't added any contacts here. So when I submit that form uh, in my funnel uh, landing page, that data will be the first contact added here. Let me just reopen that page and I can submit it. Wait, uh, let me just correct this. There you go. So let me just click on get it now. And there you go, it says submission successful. So now this means that my data should be sent to Fluent CRM. So let me just close this and uh, refresh the Fluent CRM contact list. And there you go. You can see that my email and my name has been added. And in WP Funnels, I set the user event uh, based on opt-in form that they'll be added to this list, which is lead gen, and they'll be assigned the tag opt-in. And that's exactly what is happening here. All right now let me show you how what happens when uh, an upsell is rejected okay so let me go to the canvas and let's preview the landing page and again i'm just going to copy the link to the landing page and open it in an incognito window you know it's always better to test your funnel in incognito mode rather than testing it as an admin so that you get the idea what a real buyer would see in your page all right so here instead of submitting the form i'm just going to click on get the book and it's going to take me to the funnel checkout page. Okay, so here I need to fill out the form and make the payment. Okay, so this is just the basic offer I have for one single book. So let me just use some dummy content here. So let's say uh, the fabulous John Doe. Okay, country, region, let's say United States. So I'm just going to fill out some dummy uh, content here so that, uh, you know, I can fulfill this uh, checkout process. But obviously, WooCommerce has validations. So you need to meet certain criteria. So there you go. I need the country. I need the zip code. I think that the phone number and an email address. So I'm just going to use John Do at gmail.com. Okay. So once I'm done with filling out the form uh, for payment, I have Stripe test mode enabled. So I'll just use uh, the dummy card numbers here uh, to test it out. Okay, and let me place this order. So once I do this, this is gonna take me to the upsell offer, okay? And there you go. This is the upsell offer I've set up, as you can see. Uh, now here, I have the option to accept or reject this. Now, previously in the funnel, I've said the user event that if someone rejects the upsell offer, he'll be added to the list upsell and assigned the tag offer no. So here, let me just reject the offer. Okay. Let me just click no thanks. And uh, it's going to take me to the thank you page. Okay. So let me just minimize this and uh, go to my Fluent CRM. And here, let me just refresh the Fluent CRM contact list. And there you go. You can see that my data, uh, which I just submitted, uh, has been added. I used John Doe in the checkout page and then I rejected the upsell offer. And now he has been added to the list upsell and he has been assigned the tag offer no. 
okay so yeah now what i can do is i can set up automations in uh, fluent crm to send them email sequences based on the tags they have or i can set up any other different types of automated campaigns i want in fluent crm okay so that's it that's how easy it is to send your buyer's data from your sales funnel uh, into fluent crm by assigning them specific tags and lists okay so the integrations ui is super slick you can use it uh, easily define the user events and assign them tags and lists okay so obviously other than fluent crm we have other uh, crm tools and email clients where you can send the data to for that you'll need our uh, integrations add-on in the future videos i'm going to show you how you can uh, you know send data to each of those tools all right so that you know you can use your preferred uh, automation tool okay so yeah that's it uh, thanks for watching this video i'll see you in my next video take care